Hello, this is John Paul from InMotion Hosting, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Moodle using Softaculous. As you can see, I've logged into my cPanel here, um, which brings you to this main page. I'm going to now scroll down to the Software Services section here, and I'm going to click the Softaculous button. It's going to bring you to this main Softaculous page. In the search box here on the top right, we're going to type Moodle, M-O-O-D-L-E, and you'll see two versions come up. Choose the version you want to install. In this example, I'm going to be installing Moodle 2.6. When you click there, you'll see just um, a quick summary of, um, of Moodle, an explanation of what it is. Um, and you can also see the version here tells you space required and a little more information the release date we're gonna to want to click this install button though which will bring up the settings that we need to fill in and you'll see here you're gonna to want to be able to choose your domain here in my test I'm just using example.com if you have other add-on domains and whatnot you can click here in order to select a different domain um, choose for choose protocol you can select here how you want it to display in a browser uh, keep in mind the HTTPS options here are for uh, people who have SSLs installed for their domain. Um, for the in-directory option, I'm going to leave it blank, which means that to get to my Moodle site, I will just go to example.com. If, for example, I enter Moodle here as the directory, I would go to example.com slash Moodle to actually access the site. And scroll down you could fill these in as needed there's a brief description of, of what these fields are for but the main fields we're gonna go down to is the site name which is where you can actually enter the name of your site and this is where what will display on your Moodle site I'm gonna type my Moodle school enter a description of it and um, I'm just gonna say this is a test description and then the database prefix this is up to you um, you could change the data press, uh, database prefix for added security um, but it is not necessary um, this is the default prefix and then here in the admin account section you're gonna want to enter your admin um, username and password uh, as a test I'm gonna enter admin I recommend using something other than admin just for security purposes uh, but in my example, I'm just going to use that. Enter your password. And keep in mind that you can't put spaces here. I don't recommend using any dictionary words, but I'm not going to actually use a... Um, I'm not going to use a real password here because it does display it. Um, and then we're going to go down here. Um, there's some advanced options and what this does is you actually will get notified on your admin email here that address uh, about updates when they're available if you check this it won't send the updates so that's your option I recommend keeping your site up to date at all times whether you're running Moodle WordPress Concrete 5 or Joomla or any CMS um, I definitely recommend keeping it up to date okay and when you're ready go ahead um, you can also choose if you want um, you could email all the details. So once it completes the install, you could actually have it send the email here to an address. And that's good to save for your own archives or to maybe send to your developer or something like that. Um, but okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click install. Uh, we should have our fields filled in here already. And then this is when it's going to actually perform the installation. And as it says, this can take three to four minutes. Uh, to complete so just give it a little bit of time and just um, don't leave the page as it says here All right, it's just finishing up now. Once it gets to 100%, you'll see it takes a little bit of time.
and once it hit 100%, it brought me to this page. Um, you'll see it says congratulations, but it also, you'll see it provides you a link to your website. So here is the link to my actual website. I'm going to go ahead and click this, and you'll just see my default website here. There you go. You see I have no courses or anything set up, so it's just a blank website. Um, we can go ahead and start building here. Um, but I'm going to go back to my, my last tab. And you'll see here it also provides the admin URL. And this is where you're going to log in using that admin username and password you just created in the setup. So when I click that, you'll see it in a new tab. It does pop up. And then I can log in with my information here. And that's it. You're ready to log in with your credentials and begin building your Moodle site. And I thank you for joining us. Once again, this is John Paul from InMotion Hosting, and have a wonderful day.